Hi, my name's Dan, and I'm a programmer in Vantage. This video will show you how to place an order for Sanger Sequencing Services. I'm at the login screen at limbs.vendorbelt.edu. I'm going to log in as a customer. Okay, I'm going to click on Place Order on the left-hand sidebar. There are several options. We'll start with the most common, tubes. What you will see here is a list of primers you have submitted in the past, along with a list of our stock primers. If you are submitting primers which are not on this list, click Yes. For the purpose of this video, we'll choose Yes. There are several fields here, and you only need to fill out the first one, Primer Name. You're welcome to fill out the others if you think they'll be helpful, but we don't use them. Now is a good time to talk about the easy fill controls. The blue section allows you to put a starting value that will be applied to all the cells beneath it. Let's try some examples. If you type in a starting value and press the first down arrow button, that value will be put into every visible cell in the column. We can press the X button to clear all visible cells in the column. If you have a number at the end of your starting value, this number will be incremented in every visible cell when you press the second button. And I'm going to clear that. And that fourth button focuses on the current column so that when you press the tab key, you'll go to the next cell down you can see all the other cells are disabled. So now you can press the tab key to go down and if you want to go backwards or in other words up you can hold shift and press tab. Where this really gets useful is when you use the range feature. Remember that these four buttons are only applied to rows you can see. You can hide rows or reveal additional ones using the range parameter. Here we're putting in rows 1 through 10 hiding the last two rows. Now any operations we perform will only be applied to rows 1 through 10 of the column. So let's say you're submitting two groups of primers. You can use the range feature to hide the second group and easily fill in the info for your first group. Then show the last two rows and fill in the info. Okay, we're done. Okay, now we're at the order form. To simplify things, we don't use the group feature of GeneSifter. When you sign up for an account, you're put into your own group, so that'll be your choice. Projects are just containers so you can organize your data. Don't sweat this at first. You can always organize your data however you like after you receive it. Choose whatever order name you want. Your tracking ID will be generated automatically, and that's what you'll use to check in your order. Sample drop-off location tells us where we'll find your samples. For reinforcement, I'm going to use the range feature and the easy fill controls quite a bit here. Let's say we want to submit 15 samples for sequencing. First, pick your sample type. The default is plasmid. Then, give your template a name. This is the same name that you'll write on the top of your tube. So, we're submitting 15 samples total, but let's say they're in three groups. So, I can use the range feature to name a group of five templates. So, there's one through five. Now the next group of five. See how the numbers in the position column change? So I'm going to name my second group here. So now the column, the values in the first five rows haven't changed because we hid them using range. Now I'll do the third group, samples 11 through 15. And we do 1 through 15 in range, and everything's there. Great. Now we're filling out our estimated sequence length. Easy fill controls are very useful here. If most of our templates have the same sequence length, we can go ahead and apply that length to everything, and then change the outliers. So I'll highlight the column, fill everything with the same value, and then make the changes. Next we have primers. You can have the same template sequence with multiple different primers, or use the same primer with different sequences. However, the system will catch if you try to use the same combination twice in one order. I'm going to pick one of our primers and use it for everything to save time. If you want exosap it performed, just specify it for the appropriate samples. If you know in advance that your samples will need special treatment for certain conditions, you can specify it under special information. Double volume means that we'll use twice the amount of your template. When you're done, click Next. After the system validates your order, you'll be taken to this screen. You can go back and edit your order before finalizing it. This button lets you enter your purchasing information. You can delete your order here before you submit it as well. 
Here's your tracking number. That's what you'll use to check in your order when you bring your samples to the drop-off area. You can review your order at the bottom before submitting it. This link does the same thing as clicking the Edit Purchasing Info button at the top. This is our last step before we complete the order. If you're an external customer, you should contact us at dna.sequence at vendorbelt.edu to arrange payment. If you're a Vanderbilt, Meharry, or Nashville VA customer, your purchase contact should be the investigator. Make sure you put these initials on each tube. Payer defaults to your name and that's fine. Next, choose your payment type. Please make sure your center number, victor code, or scholarship code is correct and has adequate funds. When you're done, click Next. Clicking Next takes you back to the order confirmation screen where you can now submit your order. After you submit your order, you'll see a summary of all the orders you've placed and their statuses. Notice that there's also the tracking ID information. This is a convenient way to get your tracking information if you forget to bring it with you when you drop off your samples. On the top of your tube, please write your template or primer name. On the side of your tube, please write your investigator initials and at least the last three digits of your tracking ID. This will help us differentiate samples that have been placed in the common drop-off box. And that's how you place an order. Thanks!